Hello Aries, welcome to my channel Astro Love Tarot. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you guys have seen my videos or you are back and you're already subscribed, welcome back guys, long time no see. So uh, yeah, let's get started for your, let's get started on your reading today. Let's see what's going on. I already, I don't know why Aries, but I kind of felt this energy like, like somebody sighed, like somebody's had a long day. Um, I'm just hearing, just take a deep breath, you know, just relax, you know, just relax because I feel somebody, I feel a very stressed energy. Um, it could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with, but I'm feeling more Aries. This is coming from your end. I'm um, just hearing, take a deep breath, you know. I'm also hearing that maybe at this time, it best, maybe you can go out for a walk or you could um, get out in nature and it'll just really help clear your mind. This card has come up every reading I've done so far, the star. Um, but like any reading, guys, if this reading resonates, that's awesome. But if it doesn't, that just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to check out your moon rising or Venus signs alongside my past or future videos. Cross watchers, this is a safe place for you guys as well. So just keep that in mind while watching. The rules could be vice versa. Also, I just started recently, um, yesterday, I just started up doing Patreon. So you can feel free to click the link in the description bar down below. It'll also be on my channel's page as well if you are interested in supporting me as a tarot reader as well as seeing exclusive content. So yeah, if you're interested, you can click that link down below. If you're not, that's fine too. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull one more card for you guys. This is gonna be mainly focused on love. Um, also, guys, I, um, I post a lot on TikTok, so that will also be in the description bar as well. So, guys, we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Star and the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. I hear a harsh truth, like you're about to give the harsh truth to somebody. I feel like things are finally turning around for you. I do feel maybe you've gone through a lot, especially with the Seven of Swords being here. There could have been somebody that was going behind your back, lying to you, but that could have betrayed you. Somebody wasn't being honest and they got caught. I'm hearing energy where they got caught or their true character, true intentions came out and you you had a lot to say to this person and you do have a lot to say to this person. And I feel like you're, you finally had the moment where you could speak your piece. You could speak, say exactly what you wanted to say, Aries. And I feel that there could be an open conversation coming your way. Maybe this person's getting ready to reach out to you or they have reached out to you, Aries. And you pretty much told them flat out like that what they did was not okay. And I see that you guys are standing up for yourselves at this time and you're really, I feel like you've had enough with who this person is. I'm sensing this energy here that this person has really, this could have been something that's happened several times, like they constantly be, um, betray your trust. And if it's not some sort of deception that they did, it could also be a on and off situation for some people out there. Like this person might be on and off, like maybe the things are going well and automatically they just ghost you for a week or two. And I think that if that is your scenario, I feel like you're done. You just, you put, you, I feel like you're fed up and you're just done. You're looking for greater things. You're looking for the person that's right for you. The person that you really want, to, um, somebody that will want to be with you and someone that aligns with your energy. Cause I feel like this person, honestly, Aries, I, I'm sensing here that whoever this is, they're aligning with your energy. I feel like you guys are on two different wavelengths is what I'm seeing here, but I feel that you come to terms with that. I'm seeing whoever this is. And I also feel like you have, you guys are moving forward and just trying your best to find the positive in the situation. And cause I feel like you guys are areas I'm sensing that you guys could, you guys do tend to think on the positive side, but even you guys thinking on the positive side, I feel like you still had a lot you wanted to say to this person just because it wasn't right what they did to you. It wasn't fair. So. I'm also hearing somebody could have tried to gaslight you, like somebody tried to turn things back around on you, but really I just feel like they were doing that to make themselves look like the victim when really Aries, you were the victim in the situation. I feel like they were trying to put it on you, like blame you for their actions when really they couldn't, they just need to accept their actions and really just give you a full apology. 
Okay, we have the Eight of Cups that are coming out. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. This person is definitely holding on to this connection with you still, and they're definitely, um, they're feeling very guarded at the time, but they're definitely, with the Four of Pentacles being here, they're definitely holding on to this connection, and they're not letting you go. I do see this person is walking away or this person or I'm seeing this person could have recently walked away from this or you guys walked away from each other and there yeah, I do see that there could be separation between you two at this time I feel this person is holding on to the connection though with the four of pentacles that you're holding on to this um I do feel like they're a bit stubborn with the um how things have turned you know I just feel like this person is becoming a little bit they are a bit stubborn about this because I don't think they, I think they like to be in control of the situation with you. And now they have a lack of control because I do see you guys are just like, you're not wanting this connection anymore. And I feel like this person, it's almost like they can't accept it. I think it like, they do have feelings for you, but I also felt like this connection was kind of a bit toxic at times just because of their actions that, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I'm hearing Taurus, the most particular Aries. This person, I feel like the way things happened between you two was very slow. It was very steady. And I feel like it wasn't moving fast enough, which was another reason you just kind of felt like you were ready. I feel like you were ready, Aries, to get into the relationship. You were ready to take things to the next level. And I feel like this person was going at a, a snail's pace. <laughs> They were taking their time and they were just not really wanting to move forward in the way you wanted to move forward, Aries. So I just feel like you guys were on two different pages here. But I do feel that this person learned a lot from you is what I'm hearing. Like they really admire your loyalty and your strength and your wisdom. Because I do feel like Aries, you've been through a lot. And I do feel there's this guilt coming from this person as well. But I also see here with the Knight of Pentacles, they are a bit of a, they are slow to opening up. They are slow to, um, and I do feel like their first, um, how they solve these kind of problems is by, I just feel like this person isn't, they have commitment issues. They have a hard time committing and that could be due to like a lot of external factor or how the way they were raised or like maybe something really difficult happened in their family life. For clarifying, the Knight of Pentacles is the Knight of Cups. This person, deep down, they are an emotional person. They are a, um, they have empathy and they do have emotions and they have, they're a bit of a sensitive person, but they don't let that, it's like this is what's going on in the inside, but what's going on the outside is the Knight of Pentacles. They're not showing their emotions. They're not they are afraid of showing their emotions because some sort of, and it could have been due to some sort of trauma that happened in their life at one point or some sort of um, hurt that they had to overcome. And they just are really shut off from connections. And I just feel like, and I'm also feeling Aries, like you felt like this person did like you. Like that's the thing, like you felt like this person really liked you. But they would show that sometimes and then the other times you just like do you like me like you couldn't tell if they liked you just because of the way they would just completely detach from you and you just felt like did i mean anything to you like is this was this ever like was this real for you and i feel like aries you were just wondering is this real for you you know was this real and i i'm i see you asking you asking that person that question They just feel like they're holding back a lot. They're not being upfront. But I do feel like whatever you found out, like it really opened up your eyes and it really opened up their eyes as well because they're like, I need to stop doing this. Oh my goodness. Two of Cups. Oh, guys. Why does this card have to come out? I feel like there was a strong connection. There was a strong magnetic connection between two. Even if the emotional connection wasn't fully developed, I do feel like there was something that, there was something that brought you two together. There's a reason you guys kept coming back to one another because there was that connection. The chemistry was there. 
I just feel like if they didn't, if they were willing to open up or willing to really give this a full shot, things could have been really great. But unfortunately, with their behavior and with the way they handled things, I just feel like that's the part of the reason why things didn't go well or the reason why things couldn't progress because I do see areas that you were willing to give this a shot and you were willing to really um, see this through. But I feel this person, they were holding back so much and they were always walking away from something good in their life. I feel like you were such a good you were so good to this person. You were such a good, a good friend to this person. I feel like whenever things, whenever it comes to being committed, it's like they, tr they walk away immediately because of the fear of getting hurt or the fear that, you know, they have no control over their emotions anymore because, you know, they have that fear of getting hurt because they just try to keep everything surface level. They try to keep everything casual so they don't get hurt. But I think as the, as soon as things started to progress with you, Aries, they would back away their energy. I do feel like they still care about you and they still feel for you. But at the same time, whatever betrayal they had done, it just was enough. You know, it wasn't... It's like they care for you, but at the same time, it, it's... It wasn't in a very healthy way and it was like, you know, like they were hurting you and like it wasn't okay what they did to you. What they did to you was not okay. And I think that they are coming to terms with that and coming to terms like what they're losing. And they're losing someone special like you, Aries. You know, they're losing someone like you, someone that could, you know, really provide a good relationship for them and be a good partner to this person. But at the same time, Aries, I do feel like your person is out there. Especially with the Two of Cups coming out here. Okay, let's see what's coming for Aries. What is coming for you guys in the near future? Transformation, the death card. And the death card for me, it's not all negative. I feel like this is more of a positive card. I see this card as being positive. I see this card as like a, it's honestly like a very breathtaking card because this is about transformation for me. This is about becoming the version of yourself that you want to be. Or this is becoming, this is transforming into the best version of yourself. And I see that there's even though this chapter is closing with whoever this is i do feel like there is a new beginning and there could be somebody brand new coming your way but also regardless if there's somebody new coming your way or not i feel like you know the way you're standing up for yourself and the way that you are going about the situation it's just very it's very transforming on its own <laughs> i just feel like there's such beautiful change ahead for you guys and such beautiful momentum like, I just feel like you are, you're, you're feeling great. You're looking great in the near future and you are transforming to the person that you want, the best version of yourself that you are wanting to be. Cause that's all we can be at the end of the day is the best version of ourselves. So I just feel that you, I see that you're leaving this behind and you're moving into, you're moving into the path that you feel is calling you at this time. Whether that is a creative outlet look or whether that is another person that's kind of caught your eye. I just feel like Aries, you know what you deserve. You know what you have to give a person and what you have to give a person is something very special and endearing and beautiful. And you are, whoever is watching this, you are beautiful. Just remember that you're a beautiful person inside and out. And you just have to remember that because I feel like maybe you've had days, Aries, where it's been hard to think that way. But I just feel like, just remember, just remember who you are. You know, you're beautiful inside and out. So, oh, Aries. I'm sorry for whatever's going on. If this reading is resonating, I'm very sorry that you're going through this hard time. Just know that things will look up. Things will get better, you know. And maybe it'll take a little bit of time, but things will get there and you will be in a better place very soon. You know, so, oh my gosh. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. You can feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. Also, if you, like I said in the beginning, you can check out my Patreon, it's new. Um, you don't have to do anything, you can just check it out. And, you know, yeah. So I will see you guys next time, bye.